Hey guys, it's Alex with Fillmore here to empower your inner video creator. I'm a hotel professional and a content creator based here in the Philippines. You can also check out my channel at youtube.com slash at alexmerit. And I've been using Filmora since 2018. And it's been a wonderful ride making contents for Filmora from planning, brainstorming, and providing me a platform to showcase my love for filmmaking. So if you guys are interested to learn more about the editing tips using the Wondershare Filmora 12, subscribe to my channel right over here and also link on the description box below if ever they'll be putting it in. And for today's episode, we are going to talk about how to vlog for beginners from planning, shooting, and editing using the Wondershare Filmora 12. And before we continue, don't forget to hit the like this video and subscribe to Wondershare Filmora and hit the notification bell so you won't miss a single episode. You done? Alright, let's get into it. I've been using Wondershare Filmora since 2018 and I've already created my own editing style as time goes by. And it took more than at least 5 to 10 videos before I got the hang of it of finding my own editing style using this program. First thing you need to do is you need to answer this question. What would you like to share with your audience? Well, in my case, you need to identify your target audience first. So I wanted to show the audience how simple an individual works in an hotel industry during pandemic. I wanted to capture the interest of the people who works in the industry, people who wanted to work in this industry, and those people who stays in the hotels frequently. And I create my story using three parts. The intro, reveal the conflict, and the resolution. So that's intro to make your audience understand what your situation is. Number two is reveal the conflict. So you need to reveal the problem that you're in in that specific episode. Number three is the resolution, wherein you need to show the process on how are you going to resolve the situation that you're in in that specific episode. And now that you already have your context for your vlog, time to shoot your clips for the vlog. So there are three cameras that I usually use whenever I shoot my vlogs for the channel. The first one is this camera, my Canon M50. And there's also my mobile phone whenever I go out and I don't have my camera with me. And lastly, my GoPro and I bring this wherever I go if ever I'll be doing my travel vlogs. At least I have three separate options to use whenever I wanted to shoot. This can also be used if ever I wanted to do an underwater shot or whenever I go out for surfing. And I also have my go-to camera angles whenever I shoot my films. First is the wide shot, second is medium shot, third is the close-up, and fourth is my POV or point of view shots. And I also ensure to film myself walking around doing random things in a location, random shots with the location to serve as my b-roll and setting of the plot, and I usually capture as much as clips as possible in each part of the story. Once you're good with all your clips, let's get down to the editing part. And in my case, I always use the global media folder to save my templates, my filters that I usually use whenever I make a vlog. This will make my video editing faster and more efficient if ever I'll be able to find it right away in one specific folder. I always start my video editing with trimming and cutting out the video clips that I want to use and arrange them according to the planning that I made on the very beginning before I produce these videos. And once I'm done with the trimming and cutting out the video clips, that's the time that I'll be adding in the effects, the templates, transitions, and the text that I wanted to add in to make my video more interesting and more fun. Most of these effects, the templates and music that I usually use on my vlogs are all saved on the mine folder. So if ever I'll be needing this specific music, tracks that I usually use on the videos, all I need to do is proceed to the mine folder and type in on the search bar for the effects that I wanted to use and just drag them all the way down to the timeline. And once I'm already done and happy about the effects and the templates that I already put in the timeline, the last part would be looking for the best music that will fit for the video. And now, Filmora has a ton of music tracks that is already available in the program that you can choose from. All you need to do is go to the audio and look for the music that you want to use, try to play it. You can download it for free and you can use it every single time that you want to do your videos and also for your vlogs. And once you're done putting all the effects and all the necessary templates that you want to use for your vlog, I usually render the video so at least I can have a smooth playback whenever I wanted to check and observe the video that I have made as a draft. What I personally do is play it twice so at least I can find these items that I might have lapses or a little adjustments that I need to do before I export it as a final cut. And those are the simple steps on how to vlog as a beginner using the Wondershare Filmora. It may seem like it's hard to produce videos at the very beginning, but I could only tell you one thing. It doesn't matter if you're using your mobile phone for vlogging at the very beginning. The only important thing is, is your storytelling. And that's it for today's episode. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to Wondershare Filmora for more video editing tips. Keep creating!